Amy Bishop Anderson is a former professor. On February 12, 2010, she killed three people and wounded three others at a faculty meeting at the University of Alabama, when she was fired for poor work quality. In 1986, she had killed her brother with a shotgun, but it was ruled an accident. Authorities have declined to prosecute her for her brother's death as she is already in prison for life without possibility of parole. During the course of a routine meeting of the biology department attended by approximately 12 individuals, a professor stood up and began shooting those closest to her with a 9mm handgun. Amy Bishop, a biology professor at the university and the sole suspect, was charged with one count of capital murder and three counts of attempted murder. On September 11, 2012, Bishop pleaded guilty to the above charges in order to avoid the death penalty. The jury heard a condensed version of the evidence on September 24, 2012, as required by Alabama law. Amy Bishop was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole on September 24, 2012. In March 2009, Bishop had been denied tenure at the university and was beginning her last semester there per university policy. Due to the attention Bishop has attracted as a result of the shooting, previous violent incidents that were somehow related to her have been reevaluated. She previously drew the attention of law enforcement officials in 1986 when she shot her brother to death in Braintree, Massachusetts, in an incident officially ruled an accident. She, along with her husband, were questioned in a 1993 pipe bomb incident directed toward her lab supervisor. The day of the shooting, Bishop taught her anatomy and neurosciences class. According to a student in Bishop's class, she seemed perfectly normal during the lecture. She then attended a biology department faculty meeting in room 369, on the third floor of the Shelby Center for Science and Technology, which houses new Huntsville Biology and Mathematics departments. According to witnesses, 12 or 13 people attended the meeting which was described as an ordinary faculty meeting. Bishop's behavior was also described as normal just prior to the shooting. She sat quietly at the meeting for 30 or 40 minutes before pulling out a 9mm handgun just before 4 o'clock, according to a faculty member. She got up suddenly, took out a gun and started shooting. She started with the one closest to her, and went down the row shooting her targets in the head. According to another survivor, Deborah Morality, dean of the university's graduate program and a professor of biochemistry, this wasn't random shooting around the room. This was execution style. Those who were shot were on one side of the oval table used during the meeting, and the five individuals on the other side, including N.G., dropped to the floor. After Bishop had fired several rounds, Bishop pointed the gun at her and pulled the trigger, but heard only a click, as her gun either jammed or ran out of ammunition. She described Bishop as initially appearing angry, and then following the apparent weapon malfunction, perplexed. Morality then attempted to stop Bishop by approaching her and asking her to stop and then helped the other survivors push Bishop from the room and block the door. Morality was probably the one that saved the one that saved the lives of the others. She was the one that initiated the rush. The suspected murder weapon, a 9mm handgun, was found in a bathroom on the second floor of the building. Bishop did not have a permit to carry a concealed weapon, as required by state law. She was arrested a few minutes later outside the building. Shortly after her arrest, Bishop was quoted as saying, It didn't happen. There's no way. When asked about the deaths of her colleagues, Bishop replied, There's no way. They're still alive. Police interviewed Bishop's husband, James Anderson, 
after it was determined that she had called him to pick her up after the shooting. They did not charge him with a crime. In addition, a neighbor revealed, in later interviews, that he saw the couple leaving their home with duffel bags on Friday afternoon, prior to the shooting. Anderson revealed that his wife had borrowed the gun used in the shooting, and that he had escorted her to an indoor shooting range in the weeks prior to the incident. Shortly after Bishop's arrest, people at the university's biology department expressed concern to police that she had booby-trapped the science building with a herpes bomb intended to spread the virus. She had previously worked with the herpes virus while completing her postdoctoral studies, and a novel she wrote described the spread of a virus similar to herpes throughout the world, causing pregnant women to miscarry. However, the police had already searched the premises, finding only the handgun used in the shooting. Three faculty members were killed, and three others were injured. Only a few students were present in the building at the time of the shooting, and none were harmed. A memorial service was held at Huntsville on Friday, February 19, 2010, with 3,000 people in attendance. Professor Amy Bishop is no doubt a dangerous woman.